I whittled the 100 submissions down to 6 maps that are complete enough to be tested and that are developed by mappers who I believe will be enthusiastic and active. If you do get the chance to join the servers, I hope that you'll bump into one of these 7 creators and that they'll listen and respond to your feedback. Together I hope that we'll see these projects grow and develop as the week progresses, just as we did last week. More on those maps in this video here. Anyway, onto this week's maps. Raven's map has a very clean design. It's easy to see players against the well-lit white walls, and it has just enough extra details to make it interesting, without making it cluttered. For this map, it's really just a case of testing the layout. It narrowly missed playtesting last week because it was simply too big and open, but Raven has made drastic changes to the map since. He's enthusiastic and able. Now all he needs is feedback to improve on this map further. We've already decided on a name, since before he just had it called No Name. Silo has the same clean dev style that we saw last week with Network, yet there are just enough props and extra details to make it feel like a place. I'm a bit concerned about the physics on these glass windows, but I think I can forgive Hutch for that. The layout feels like a dust map, complete with double doors and the bomb sites in particular are really well designed. I'd be very surprised if this map doesn't play well, but the only way to know for sure will be to paint this map red. With blood. From your enemies. I was immediately drawn to Whiteout just because it stands out. It's got a very different feel to most maps, relying heavily on displacements to give the map a bumpy look. At the moment it suffers from clipping and bot problems, but with a bit of polish this could be fixed and we'd be left with a very unique and memorable map. Winter is here. Pipes makes good use of height to mix things up. Mapmaker Ego has added a little bit of everything. There are vents, doors, ladders, boosts and one-way drops featured in this map. I think that it needs playtesting, but also suggestions on a proper theme. Some of the areas have thought put into them, but others remain as simple corridors. I can see so many possibilities for these places. If you can think up some, then let Mapmaker Ego know. Diluvio has a fast-paced gameplay and a surprising amount of detail in some places. I really enjoyed the rounds I played on this map, even when just up against bots, which is always a head start when you're playtesting a map. What it needs now is testing with real people and a more consistent art direction to bring this level together better and to make it easier to spot players. At the moment it's a fascinating thing to look around, but it looks a bit like an art project. This map was originally submitted for a mapping competition, which you'll hear the results back from shortly. But regardless of the outcome, I hope that Extra Cheesy Pie continues to work on it since I believe that if he puts his mind to it, he could make this map look and play beautifully. And lastly, I've chosen two solid maps to end with. These seem to be past the playtesting stage, which previously I would have avoided, but I've chosen maps that have failed to get feedback elsewhere and from my experience in week 1, and with Infernu, just because a map looks decent, it doesn't mean that it can't still be changed if the right mapper is at the helm. First of these is Factory, or as I like to call it, Happy Dancing Tree Map. It looks professionally made, it has the details needed to make it look like a place, and Blackie has worked hard, updating it time and time again. And yet I know that, with just a little bit more work, this map could really be something special. Let's see if we can make it happen in this week's playtesting. And lastly, D Foray. It looks amazing, plays well, and I can't find any faults. See if you can find some. For a map this polished, it's been all but forgotten, so let's give it a bit of love and reward Muck Messenger's hard work. And that's it. These maps should be around on the servers at least until the end of the week, if not a bit longer still. I'm lazy like that. I'll do my best to ensure that the servers stay up. Last week they were completely full for the first day or so, but after that you would have been able to find a space on them. Thank you to everybody who took part last week, especially those of you who also took the time to post your feedback on the maps involved. This week looks to be just as exciting. Thanks again to David Randall for providing me with such great music in the background of this video, which you can check out by clicking on the screen right now.